may come as a surprise to learn that one single actor won three Oscars within five years. In the late 1930s and early 1940s, Walter Brennan won three Academy Awards for Best Supporting Actor, a kind of rapid-fire success that would make even Meryl Streep envious. However, in a time where only a few notable actors had won more than one Oscar, Brennan's success raised suspicion. Surely there was some level of chicanery behind the scenes to give a glorified character actor like Brennan this level of luster. Walter Brennan was one of the first great character actors of Hollywood, having a career spanning over 40 years. This was thanks in large part to his ability to play crotchety old men who served as the comic relief. Brennan was a constant highlight for his down-to-earth humility being paired with the superheroism of the likes of John Wayne and Humphrey Bogart. Part of his success as an actor was that Brennan always looked older than he really was, and that opened up the range in which he could play different ages sooner than most actors. This would wind up being important for his legendary Oscar run. The Best Supporting Actor category was introduced in 1937, and Walter Brennan became the first ever winner for his performance in Come and Get It. He'd go on to win again for his role in Kentucky in 1938 and The Westerner in 1940. Brennan was excellent in all three roles, playing layered, complex characters with a level of charisma that always felt infectious. But the question still remained, did he really deserve all three of these awards? It's fair to doubt the status of an Oscar winner in a case like this. While many respected Walter Brennan's acting ability, it was often speculated that the reason he won so many Oscars so quickly was because, at the time, extras were allowed to vote. According to CinemaSite, his last two wins were, quote, said to be due to the high level of support he received from the Extras Union, whose members were allowed to vote in the Academy Awards from 1936 to 1940. His third win on his third nomination for 1940's The Westerner caused such a scandal that the Extras voting rights were taken away. That theory seems to be spot on, since after the rule was disbanded, Brennan only received one more Oscar nomination during the rest of his career. None of this is to cast any aspersions on Walter Brennan's character, or to claim that he had anything to do with the extras being so giddy for him. By all accounts, Brennan was simply an actor who gained a lot of respect when he was an extra, and his fellow extra members saw it fit to pay it forward. It also goes without saying that there's a level of politics that goes into the Academy Award voting. So Brennan's success is no outlier in the history of surprising victors.